So you know that I'm a human trafficking survivor. I was trafficked from San Francisco to Tokyo, Japan. Oh, what other Tokyo is there? Tokyo, Indiana, whatever. <laughs> but <laughs> I was trafficked and I was um, held prisoner by the Japanese mafia for almost, well, it was a little less than two months, uh, <clears throat> which is mercifully a short time if you're in that situation. But it was considerably long time. And I, I was brutalized and, and um, it's just like imagine yourself in a foreign country, you don't speak the language, uh, you've, been, you've been threatened with death, you've been brutalized, you're, you're, you're in this little apartment and uh, you're, you've been raped and, and, and it's going on and you don't know when you're ever going to get out. So I was in that situation. And a series of bad choices kind of helped to get me in that situation, but just because, but we don't blame the victim. But um, anyway, so I was in that situation and I thought that I was going to completely go nuts. And I was so afraid that I thought I was gonna, I, I, I didn't know what I would do, but I, I thought if I lose it completely, then they're gonna kill me, which is true. I mean, they would have. So <clears throat> to keep my sanity and to not give in to fear, I, uh, I found an anchor. And adversity of any kind, from the, the smallest to the greatest adversity, is an opportunity to meet your authentic self. And in that moment, I was fortunate enough that I, I met my authentic self for that time, and I, I got an anchor, and I found courage, and I made myself two promises. One was, and it was early November, one was, I will be home by Christmas, <laughs> and I don't care what it looks like outside. I don't care, I'm not that I don't care, but I mean, no matter what happens to my body, no matter what is going on on the outside, I am going to hold on to this visualization that I am going home for Christmas, and that's it. And I created, created that visualization for myself, and I clung to it. And the other promise I made to myself was that I would treat the people around me with respect. And I, I had guards. Uh, I, I was isolated. It was a difficult situation, but. <clears throat> I did the best I could to fulfill both of those promises. And as it happened, the ideal person to help me escape came into that place. He was a customer, but he, um, he, he, he got me out. He was a smuggler from Hong Kong and uh, not, not like a, you know, police officer or some kind of, not what you might think, but still, he was the guy. <laughs> he was the guy that got me out. And I was home two days before Christmas, just as I had visualized. 